The eastern region of Ghana abounds with many interesting tourist destinations. These include the Booty Falls, the Umbrella Rock, the Adomi Bridge, the Akonsombo Dam, just to mention a few. However, one site which is gradually catching the attention of many holiday makers is the Abuabu Rock Paradise. Located at Nyadie, 30 minute drive from Begro in the Fantiaqua district of the eastern region of Ghana. During a recent Easter celebration, thousands of visitors from the eastern region and beyond thronged the site to admire the astonishing handiworks of nature. Christened Odumankuma Hinfi by the local folks, the area is inundated with various breathtaking and amazing rock formations, which are named according to the forms they are perceived to take. In fact, there, there are so many things here. You have a rock in the shape of uh, uh, an elephant. We have what the village folks call ghost blackboard, and indeed, it's a giant blackboard, very, very beautiful. We have a palanquin here. We have what people call Obo Rasta, it's like a, a, a lady, you know, wearing dreadlocks. And um, we have what people call the marriage, a marriage between a rock and a tree. And the tree, you know, takes the color of the rock. And it's very difficult to tell what is where the tree starts from. And it's so amazing. This is Oduman Kumahi. Wondering why the choice of Oduman Kumahi, which translates into English as God's Paradise, as a name for the place, the DCE for the area, Honorable Abbas Fuseni Sebabi, had this explanation. But we needed a name, a befitting name for the place. So uh, the management of the district assembly that did a lot of you know uh, discussions, a lot of consultation with the elders. And then the thinking was that there is everything to indicate that this place is a holy place. And because Ghanaians assume that God is a Ghanaian, if he is a Ghanaian, then this is his palace. One significant thing about the rocks is that they have natural staircases which make it easy for people to climb and from the top of the rocks one can see their from lake and from another point about five towns in Ghana, three in Kweu South, a town in Fantiaqua called Mpeng and another town in the Volta region called Germany. For a place that is gifted with such beautiful scenery, it is a little baffling that its tourism potentials are yet to be properly harnessed. Residents, however, say most people were afraid to visit the place initially because of the nature of the rocks, while others believed some of the caves were occupied by spirits. But the organization of picnics at the site in recent time has, according to them, helped to demystify the place. <laughs> Some of the patrons who visited the place, aside admiring the rock formations, also couldn't resist dancing to the music produced by the several sound systems mounted at various points. Others seized the opportunity to exhibit their traditional dancing prowess as the local folks displayed some drumming skills. Meanwhile, others were busy doing brisk business to cash in on the occasion. Some of the patrons couldn't hide their excitement. I saw the, what we call a, a set of living room furniture and the blackboard, yes. It looks like God teaches the angels using the blackboard. I saw a, a lot of rocks, some in the design of a some in a design of a crocodile, some in a design of... You look at the platform, uh, I realize that God is wonderful. I mean, come and see that you must say, you come and see. How the beauty nature is. The way the rock has been designed. And today I find a place where they said the dwarf's house, okay? Where they live, I find a place and not something that I've been met before. And what always they, would, they used to say that grass live in a stone. It's today that I've, I've done. I've, I've got. 
although there are access routes from Begro to the location and the assembly has managed to provide toilet facilities at the place, the lack of routes within the rocks to make movement from one to another easier, the unavailability of tour guides and the absence of waste bins take away a lot from what could easily pass as a world-class tourist destination. While calling on the Ghana Tourism Authority, the Fantiaco District Assembly and all other stakeholders to give the place the kind of attention it deserves, remember not to look any further the next time you intend visiting a place of interest because Oduman Kumahimfi is just steps away to give you that memorable tourism experience. Yeah, pasta. Oh, mommy, mommy, pasta.